Hi everyone, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, I have a customer who's bought me a, uh, a a laptop in which is an Acer Aspire 5, um, which has no power. Uh, now, I um, need to determine whether there's a fault with the machine or is there is a fault with the, um, with the charger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a charger test first and then I may have to open the machine up, have a look, to make sure there's no liquid damage or anything uh, like that before we order a new charger in because I don't think I've got one that's uh, exactly like this one it's quite a rare rare one to be honest so yeah let's test the charger first okay let's get that out of the way get the multimeter this there I don't know if you can see that there you go so uh, the old charger is here and it's the right one I've checked um, before it's 19 volt with a 2.37 uh, amp output, 45 watts. So it's the correct one. It's not uh, the wrong one. So uh, uh, I haven't got a, a pin thin enough to get into the uh, the hole to to uh, to the positive terminal. So uh, I'll just use a paper clip and I'll connect to it. So there we go. There you go. There. I'll put the paper clip in first. See what we've got, what we've got coming out. And as you can see, we have got barely a volt, so there's not much uh, coming out of that. So uh, yeah, okay. So we determined that the the charger is at fault. I have checked the power leak that goes into the charger. Well, that's fine. I've tested it on another charger. That works absolutely perfectly. So yeah, let's. Uh, get the, uh, the back of the laptop off and uh, take it from there. This is the boring part. All the screws are off. It didn't take very long, did it really? With a thing like this. So uh, I've got one of these little, little tools or you can use uh, one of these. Sometimes I even use uh, one of these little things. So yeah. Let's get the uh, back off. Okay, that's uh, fairly straightforward. Got that off. Everything looks pretty clean. Bit of a dusty uh, fan there, but that's uh, normal on the machines. I can't see any liquid damage uh, whatsoever. That looks pretty clean. Um, I would, I would say that the uh, the charger is at fault. So uh, I'll go ahead and order a new one, and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. So uh, yeah, just watch this space. I should get one in for tomorrow. So let's see how we how we get on with that. Right, welcome back guys. I've uh, managed to get hold of the uh, a charger. It's exactly the same one. Uh, there's no difference whatsoever. It's a brand new uh, Delta Electronics one, which is uh, genuine, which is what Acer do use. I've seen light on ones as well. But uh, well, here's the uh, the laptop and the, the power connectors on the, this side over here. So uh, I'll just put that in. There you go, that's in. And then I'll connect the power. Um, lead machine let's uh, switch that over and uh, let's see what we get out of this shall we I need to go clean to be honest generally whenever I give a machine back to a customer I uh, go yeah remove all the dust I've got like a um, little mini, mini mini vac that just takes all the dust out and give a quick clean so it looks pretty good when I get it back the power buttons just at the top here and let's see what we can do. Okay, well the fan spinning. Uh, so I've got I've got fan fan spinning there, you can see that. And we should have a display. Well there you go. And there you go. This is a pretty simple fix. It's what I like on a Friday afternoon to be honest. I don't want nothing that uh, major with testing capacitors and looking at this and taking boards out. It's an absolute nightmare. But yeah, as you can see, we have got a result. So uh, I hope this video helped you. Uh, any um, 
any likes and subscribes would be uh, most welcome. Thank you for watching.